Hi, this is Linda, and I have an Asian recipe that I'm going to make today. It's super simple, and uh, it's only one point per serving, and that includes the peanut sauce. Each serving, uh, this is called Asian Chicken Lettuce Cups, and I'm sure if you've ever been to any, well, Asian restaurants, and I hear um, Cheesecake Factory has one, which I don't go to that place, so I don't know. Um, anyway, but this recipe sounded so so yummy and the points I've tweaked it it's only one point per serving each serving is three of the uh, chicken lettuce cups and so this is going to make 12 of them so we could actually do two servings if we want which we might do so we'll see but um, let me go over with the what's on the recipes but first I just wanted to show you we will show it off a little bit later but the reason I haven't videotaped in a while, I've been making things while I'm off, and I made a whole bunch of these uh, little kitchen boa towels because I'm always looking around for my towel when I'm cooking, and uh, so I looked at some you know different uh, things online and found how people made them, and then I kind of tweaked it how I like them, and this was made all from scraps that I have had left over. And then I just got these from the dollar store. So it's real simple. This is I reupholstered my RV trailer um, and I had this left over from it. Anyway, so that's why I've got this on and it kind of matches my colors. I have another one in here too. So I have two of them in here because my colors in my kitchen are the cobalt blue with accents of yellow, if you haven't noticed. So I have that one sitting over here too. Plus I made these double pot holders because I'm always looking for my pot holders. This is some scraps too from uh, them when I reupholstered my trailer. But aren't these cool? These are so nice. I end up making, I think, like 10 or 12 of them. I might sell them on Etsy. I'm not sure. I'm so busy right now. We'll see. But at least I've got all these things that uh, make things fun for me for when, I, when I'm cooking. So let me go over what's in the recipe. Uh, of course, we're going to better put my glasses on. I've got two chicken breasts that are pre cooked, already. Uh, uh, chopped up, you know, kind of diced in bite-sized pieces. So you want to have uh, some cooking, cooked chicken breasts, and then I'm going to have some um, shredded carrots, and then some uh, crushed red pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, uh, PB too. That's the peanut butter uh, light that I'm going to make the peanut sauce with. Some water chestnuts, ground ginger, sesame seeds, uh, rice vinegar. Asian rice vinegar and low sodium soy sauce, sugar-free maple syrup. This one here is the one I use all the time, Maple Grove Farms. Uh, it's the only one I can find that's exactly is zero points per serving and it's really good. And then I have some romaine lettuce and green onions. I think I've got everything on the list and a little bit of black pepper back here. I'm going to use my Instant Pot to make all of this in because uh, it's so easy to cook. I use it even when I'm not using um, doing the video so I can show you. Uh, it's easier to show you on the videos than me trying to be over at my stove. But I use this even when I'm not doing the videos because it's so easy to use. So I'm going to get started and I'll be right back with the instructions. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do before I start telling you what's in here, I'm going to take my Instant Pot, I'm going to set it on saute. That's going to heat this up real fast. And uh, that's what I'm going to cook everything in. You want to lightly spray it with a little bit of nonstick spray. I like to use the butter flavor. It helps with cleanup. And now I'll be right back with the ingredients that go in next. Okay, so this is nice and hot. So I'm going to add the chicken. I'm going to put it in here for like a couple minutes. Just let it lightly brown. And while it's doing that, I'm going to chop up my uh, water chestnut. <coughs> so I'll chop up my water chestnut. It's going to go in next. I'll be right back. Okay, using uh, chicken breast, you know, there's hardly any fat in it. So sometimes it's kind of hard to get it to brown because it's, it just might want to stick a little. That's one reason I use the uh, spray, not you know, the cooking spray. But also you can add a little bit of water, which is what I'm going to do right now. 
Same if you're cooking this on the stove, you'll put this on medium high heat. Now just put just a tiny bit of water, that helps it uh, brown better. Cooking, now I'm gonna add one can, it's eight ounces of the water chestnuts, and I diced them all up, a uh, little, little dicer thing I have. And now I'm gonna put them in with the chicken. Stir that around. And I'm going to add three-quarter teaspoon of ginger, of ground ginger, three-quarters of a teaspoon. I'm going to put that on top and let that all cook. And I'll be right back. Okay, after your chicken browns, you want to make sure you turn off the Instant Pot. Just turn it off to completely stop it from cooking. And then I'll come back with how to make the... Uh, the vinegar and soy sauce that's going to go in the next. Okay, if you've been cooking this on this stove, I meant to say after you brown the chicken, then just turn it down to low to kind of keep it warm. Instant Pot, you need to turn it off as soon as it browns because this Instant Pot will still continue to cook. I actually took mine completely out of the pot for a minute because uh, it, it cooks so fast that it takes it a while to cool down. So now I'm going to uh, make the soy sauce and uh, with the vinegar. Next step that's going to go on here, I'm going to use two tablespoons. Uh, I have the reduced sodium soy sauce. You can use either kind, just I prefer the reduced sodium. I love these little measuring cups that I have because two tablespoons right there. I have to go for liquid. Then I need two tablespoons of the rice vinegar. So I'm just going to pour it right on top. And when this hits four, now I've got the two tablespoons of each that I need. It's going to go in a small mixing bowl. And then I'm going to add a half a teaspoon of garlic powder, half a teaspoon <coughs> excuse me, of onion powder, and a half a teaspoon of the crushed red peppers. So I'm going to do that next. Okay, I just added half a teaspoon of the, um, the crushed red pepper and a half a teaspoon of the garlic powder and a half a teaspoon of the onion powder. If you uh, don't like it really hot, then you might want to just uh, reduce the crushed peppers to a quarter of a teaspoon instead of a half. Now I'm going to take a little tiny whisk. I'm going to whisk this together and then I'm going to turn my uh, instant pot back on to saute and I'm going to pour this on top. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm going to pour the vinegar soy sauce spice mixture on top and then just kind of mix it all around really good and then I'm going to add one cup of, um, yeah, one cup of shredded carrots and then a half of a cup of diced onions. So I'm going to dice up these onions. I'll be right back. Uh oh Okay, now I'm going to add a half a cup of chopped green onions. <coughs> And then two tablespoons of sesame seeds. Right to this. If you're cooking this on the stove, you should be cooking this like on a medium heat. Stir this all together. Almost done. Be right back. I just wanted to add that once you add the, um, <clears throat> the carrots and the green onions, you want to cook it for just like one to two minutes more. So I'm going to turn my Instant Pot off now because I don't want it to cook anymore. It's already been cooking. And um, if you're uh, cooking this on the stove, then you want to go ahead and just put it on low. And this is going to be pretty well it now. I am going to uh, rinse my lettuce leaves and I'm going to try to get 12 nice pieces of lettuce. These will go right into the lettuce. But the, before I do that, I'm going to make the peanut sauce that's going to go on top of this. Be right back. Okay, the chicken, like I said, is done. I've rinsed my lettuce leaves. 
Uh, the romaine lettuce makes nice big size. So I want 12 of these. I'm kind of cutting them, some of the big ones down just a little bit. So I'm going to continue doing that, putting this on the plate. Then I'm going to make the peanut sauce. Okay, now in the peanut sauce, I started mixing it. I forgot it wasn't on. So I took a quarter of a cup of the powdered uh, PB2. So there's a quarter cup. I put it in this bowl, the same bowl I used to mix the other uh, ingredients with the soy sauce in it because this has a similar ingredient. So it's don't have to mess up another bowl, along with two tablespoons of water. So that's what's in here right now. And then I was just mixing it together till it's a little creamy. It looks just like peanut butter now. And only a lot less points. And it tastes real good. And now I'm going to add um, the sugar-free maple syrup, a quarter of a cup. This little thing is a quarter of a cup. Now I've got my little boa going this way here. Okay, so I'm gonna put a quarter of a cup, mix this in. Still got my chicken is staying warm in my Instant Pot. Okay, so I added the sugar-free syrup. I'm gonna mix this all together. And then one ingredient I forgot to put out to show you uh, to add for some extra creaminess is a little bit of Greek yogurt. And so you wanna use the non-fat plain Greek yogurt, zero points. And so I'm going to add one tablespoon. I've got Chobani, but I, I buy all different brands. But I like the Chobani, the Oikos, and also the Kirkland brand that's at uh, Costco. It's really good and it's very inexpensive. So I'm going to do one tablespoon. Put that right in here. Mix this all together. And then I'll be right back. Okay, now I'm going to add one and a half tablespoons of water. There's one and a half. I'm going to add one and a half tablespoons of the soy sauce and one and a half tablespoons of the rice vinegar. So there's the low sodium soy sauce that I like. So one and a half. And one and a half of the rice Asian rice vinegar. Just one and a half. And then I'm going to add an eighth of a teaspoon of uh, black pepper. Or you can use white pepper. I'm going to mix this all together. Be right back. One last thing is um, a pinch of cayenne pepper, which is about one eighth of a teaspoon. Gives it that extra kick. Mix this all together, and now the peanut sauce is all done. I'm going to take the chicken out, and I will probably fast forward or show you part of it, how I put it together with the lettuce leaves, and then when I'm done, we can pour a little bit of this, or you just lightly spoon it on top. Here it goes. Okay, last step, just washed my hands again, keeping my hands clean, very important. Um, okay, you want to take a lettuce leaf and uh, grab a spoon. Now I've got to try to make sure I get 12 servings out of this. So I think you only take probably like a little bit like this from what I can tell. My leaves might be a little bit bigger too than what they need to be. Um, anyway, so you want to put that right there on the lettuce leaf. I'm going to continue doing these. I'll be right back. Okay, they're all done. I just kind of had to uh, figure out, I think it's like about two tablespoons for each uh, little lettuce cup. You might want to pull some of the lettuce, uh, you know, down a little bit so they're not quite as big as what I had to do because these are some really big uh, pieces of lettuce. And then when I get ready to serve them, then I'm just going to take a little bit. This is the peanut sauce. And I'm going to just drizzle like a little bit on top of it. And um, we can just put that on the side however we like it. And another thing I'm going to do, since with my Instapot, I'm going to take some of the Green Giant uh, rice cauliflower. I'm going to put a little bit of soy sauce, a little bit of garlic salt, a little bit of pepper, and some diced green onions. Mix it all together. I've already steamed this for four or five minutes in the microwave. Add a little bit of diced up onion 
and then a, an egg and make um, some fried rice. Okay, dinner's done. These uh, turned out really good and I just sampled one and it's wonderful. There are only um, one point for three of them. So there's 12 of them here. So if uh, it's supposed to be one portion is, um, is three with four portions. So you could eat half of these and uh, it would only be two points if I got that right. I think so. And that's with the peanut sauce and this peanut sauce is nice and spicy and you want to stir it up real good before you pour it you know drizzle it on top of your um, Asian chicken wrap I made a little bit of <coughs> fried rice made with the cauliflower um, rice that has vegetables has peas and carrots in it I had a little bit of diced up onion and some garlic salt a little bit of pepper and some soy sauce and you can also add water chestnuts if you want, but I used all mine in here. But anyway, this is what's for dinner, and uh, it's very simple, very easy to make. Make it in your Instapot, or you can make it on your stove, either one. It's very simple. I'll have the recipe posted on my website, on my website at Amazing Healthy Recipes, not recipes, recipe, health, AmazingHealthyRecipe.com and uh, you can find all my recipes to all my videos everything's posted there with no ads so i hope you enjoy it i just do this to be a blessing and i hope you're taking care of yourself as we're all shut in right now and um, hopefully you're being able to uh, order groceries online which is what i do and make some creative healthy choices instead of just eating our way through this pandemic so god bless you all Stay safe, and I'll see you on my next uh, video, and um, you take care. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. It encourages me to do more of these, which also keeps my hands busy besides all my sewing projects, uh, so I don't eat too much, and I'm staying um, still at goal almost two years, losing 80 pounds on WW, and I'll talk to you later. You have a wonderful day. Bye.